New requirement requires line side bus bars, terminals of equipment supplied by a feeder tap or transformer secondary to be protected from inadvertent contact by placing barriers over exposed parts. If you make a tap and you terminate the tap conductors on the line, well, on, well you have to terminate it at an overcurrent device. Well, if somebody could be working that panel and the line side terminals are going to be energized. So if you turn off the breaker, let's go to that graphic here. Tap conductors have to terminate in an overcurrent device. You turn off the breaker. Well, the problem, even though you turn off the breaker and the bus is not energized, the line side conductors are going to be energized. So therefore, the 2023 code is going to require the, what's it, barriers must be placed at no expo energized phase bus bar or terminal is exposed and equipment supplied by the feeder tap when the overcurrent device that the feeder taps terminate to is in the open position. So if you turn this off, obviously we don't have to put any barriers on those, the feed through lugs, just the line side. So, you know, and also the same thing goes on the secondary. Okay, well, this would be secondary conductors, but these are feeder conductors. That's why they fall within the scope of 215. And it's if you have secondary conductors terminating an overcurrent device and secondary conductors are required to terminate in an overcurrent device. Ryan, is this a three-phase bus? <laughs> I guess it is. Okay, there we go. Well, then you're going to have to put barriers on that. Well, there are a lot of different kind of barriers, right? A lot of manufacturers make all kinds of things. This is not like a difficult thing to do. So you just got to be aware that in the 2023, we got to protect that. So when you drop the breaker, a person can have a, a spot that it could be safe. This is all leading into that whole safety issue.